Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back for another tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up your very own satisfactory server with Gportal uh, for the launch of 1.0. So, it's been a good four years since Satisfactory launched in early access and it's now in version 1.0. And with that, you're going to need a server. So, let's get to it. So, the first thing you want to do is head over to the Gportal website, g-portal.com and click on rent a server. So here, when you get to this section here, what you want to do is pick your configuration. You can create your own or just go 30 days for 10 slots. Basically just go with what's available at the time. So here you can also choose where your server is going to be. So in the drop down box, I'm just going to take the 10 slots one right now in London. If it was in Scotland, I would do that too. So once that's done, then pay with your uh, preferred method and wait for it to finish paying right okay so once it's finished updating you'll be given all your basic status screens base settings and go through it all one little bit at a time it usually takes between a minute and five minutes depending on the size of the game so as you can see here this is the, the first screen you'll be greeted with and you'll have this top area which is your IP which you'll need to access your server your active amount of players on the server how to how to satisfactory if you need tips and tricks like I'll just go on there and have a read around here make sure this is stopped before you edit your server settings so stop make sure it's stopped now in case you've already started next we'll go below you'll see the status area this gives you your game server load your access data and your game server files at any point you have issues with your server verify it like that and it'll uh, restore it back to its original format Click on basic settings at the top left and over here you'll be able to see um, like everything that the server is all about. Now it's pretty simple satisfactory server so unlike other games which has thousands of options satisfactory is actually rather easy to set up. So here you see br uh, your branch selection here you have st uh, stable and experimental. Put it on stable unless you know what you're doing with experimental version like yeah then you've got your basic players how many players you want on and when you want to auto save your server so i would say if you want to make sure that you're if you're experiencing a lot of crashes or issues like that reduce it to 60 to 60 seconds but leave it at 240 right now here for extended settings what you want to do um, is the mod manager so if you're into modding this one here enables the mod manager so we're just going to tick that and hit save now, when you it does the mod manager, you'll see here it will put the server through a whole lot of new settings. Okay, so you can download the mod manager um, basically here. That is a weird link. I'm just going to go with that first. Yes, so we'll go to that web address. That's not that good. So there's nothing yet. The mods won't work for 1.0. But for future reference, guys, um, come back to that later. Okay. Um, if there is, once it's been updated, I'll try to do a video covering the SL mod manager. For the purpose of this video, we will turn it off, hit save, and leave as it is. If you want to see a mod video, please leave a comment below. All right, so once that's done and your server is basically set up, okay, so you've got your stable, you've got your basic settings, yada, yada, yada. Next thing you want to do is head over to the file manager and I'll explain this to you. So this is basically where you'll find the game files for your server. Um, if you're going into backend modding, this is what you would do. But because there is a mod like app type thing, you could do it that way. If you don't want to do it that way, this is where you would upload um, then your server logs, basically once your server is active, it will display everything that's going on in your server. If you have server experiencing errors and you want to know what that error is, you can find it and then maybe help with support. Then restarts, always make sure that you have a daily restart when nobody is on. So for example, daily, set the time for say, around about 5 a.m. and then just put restart. You know, and then just click save. That then, at 5 a.m., be it British Standard Time, the server will restart. For backups, always make sure you've got your automatic backups confirmed. 
is set on. And not only that, you create a base backup before you start your server. That way, if anything goes wrong at any time, or you've made this fantastic build somewhere, you know, um, back it up, save yourself a lot of stress, and you don't lose your thing. Now, with backups as well, note that the maximum size is 50 gig. So, and then after 60 days, they are done. For permissions, if you have a if you share a server with a friend and who they want access to make sure that the server is always up, the what you want to do then is get them to make an account on Gportal. Um and then what they would do is give you your, their username, like which you'll see like at the bottom, just round about there. If you see my mouse, it would say like dare. For example, you just add in their username there and then they can access the server settings, help restart the server, whatever. If you need support, you would come over to this area here and then you just click write a ticket and the category, which would be, say, you know, the game satisfactory, the server and the title. Oh, I'm having issue with made mad um, chickens attacking my house. See, that's it. You know, or mad let server lag, it's server keeps crashing, whatever, just add it there. Make sure you explain clearly, unlike me, who never explains anything clearly, because I'm terrible at it. So, with that, make sure you go back to your server, and this is what you want to do to start your server. Look, start. Wait for it to update, wait for it to start running. Give it about five minutes, five to ten minutes, before you find it in-game. We'll be right back. Okay, so once you've loaded up the game, this is the next part, and this part's quite important. So in order to get your server set up in game, you're just gonna click add server here. Go over to the Gportal website, and you're gonna bring up your server information. You're gonna copy this IP and port here, and just add it in here, like so. And hit confirm. You'll be prompted with this information. Click continue. Here, you'll be able to see the status, which you won't see anything right now. Click create, so you want to authenticate. You'll need to give your server an admin password. Once done, you'll see where you want to activate your, um, what map you want, okay? So, for example, the session name, give it a session name. Choose where you want to be. I'll go for the Northern Forest. The server settings, the password, auto load session name, you can choose whatever. Uh, disable seasonal events, auto save intervals, all that kind of stuff here. And for saves, no previous saves, you can load saves, upload saves, download saves, and you've got console. So once that's done, click start game and hit confirm and your server is preparing a new game. So this will take up to like five minutes, give or take, um, on setting up your server. Now, I will state this, if you do go in and you, first, and you don't do this and you click join game just straight away and try and enter the IP and port, it will not work. You'll be given uh, like an issue and basically nothing will happen. So you need to verify your server first. Okay, I'll add a link in the wiki explaining it in more detail um, in the, the description area below. So once that's done, we'll be right back. Okay, so it's set up. You just click join game. And it should load you straight into your very own satisfactory 1.0 G portal server. And if you need 10% off your server, uh, you should use the link in the description. Helps you, helps me. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.